This is the video for managing addresses using the Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment Portal, known as MPSE. In this video, we will demonstrate how an organization manages their addresses in an active enrollment record. In our example, we are going to demonstrate the process for updating an existing physical and adding a new mailing address. We will start on our Manage Portfolio page in MPSC, which we access through our Minutes account. Under the Request section, we click the Create a New Request button. This opens the Select Request Type page. In the Request Type Selection section, we will click on the radio button next to Enrollment Record Request. We then enter the request effective date. In this demonstration, we will use today's date. The question for is this a revalidation request defaults to no. We will leave the default selected and click the continue button. This opens the manage enrollment records page. We need to locate the enrollment record whose address needs updating. If we had multiple enrollment records, we would use the search feature located in the top right corner of each section to help us locate the correct record. We could also sort each section by the individual columns, such as NPI slash UMPI or address to find the appropriate enrollment record. We locate the enrollment record we wish to update and click Edit in the Actions column. This opens the Enrollment Record Information page. We verify that we have the correct record. If we need to update information on this page, we would do that here. To update the address for this record, we click Continue at the bottom of the page to move to the next section. This opens the Manage Physical Address page. We scroll to the Physical Practice Address section to locate the information currently on file for this record. Our organization changed locations and we need to update this address. We enter the new information into the required fields and indicate if this is a home address by selecting the appropriate answer. We need to review the address usage types in the next section. We need to verify that our new address is still used for the purposes listed under the selected address usage types box. Address usage types refers to either different types of information that MHCP can send to this address or the type of location. Our new address is still used for most of these usage types except for credentialing and file location. We click on these two usage types, which moves them from the selected address usage type box to the available address usage type box, and then we click Continue. This opens the Manage Mailing Addresses page. On this page, we can add up to two different addresses. To add an address, we click on the Add a Mailing Address button at the bottom of the page. This opens the Manage Mailing Address page. We only need to enter one new address, as it is used for both credentialing and file location for our practice. We enter the required information and then click Credentialing and File Location in the Available Address Usage Types box to transfer it to the selected Address Usage Type box. Once we have made our selections, we click Continue. This returns us to the Manage Mailing Addresses page where we can see the recently added mailing address. If an additional mailing address was needed, we would click the Add a Mailing Address button again. A record can have up to two mailing addresses. We are done with the changes we want to make, so we click Submit Request in the right side navigation. This opens the Submit Request page. If there are any errors, we can review those here and fix them before we submit our request. We don't have any errors, so we click the Attestation box on this page 
and click the Submit for Approval button at the bottom of the screen to complete our request. This will open the Submission Approval page. Note, there is an option on this page to complete a survey before continuing. We encourage you to provide feedback so we can continue to improve the MPSE portal. In this video, we have demonstrated the process for managing addresses for an organization's enrollment record in the MPSE portal. If we were an individual provider, we would use the same steps to manage the address for our provider record. If we had questions about this process, we would refer to the MPSC User Manual. We will find the instructions we need by selecting MPSC Requests from the left side of the page and then selecting Enrollment Record Request. This opens the Enrollment Record Request page. We use the instructions located on this page and in Step 5, click on the link for addresses to find the instructions to complete the request. The Department of Human Services offers various training opportunities, including other on-demand videos and online sessions. You can register for the online sessions by visiting the MHCP Enrolled Provider Training page on the DHS Provider website. Check the MHCP Provider News and Updates for announcements on changes to programs and information about new learning tutorials when they become available. Thank you.